You know it. All right, I'm recording. So, Frankie, as you stand next to the MLS Cup, you won one of those for the crew in 2008. What does it mean to you for it to be next to you? You can touch it and hold it again. What does that trophy mean to you specifically? Man, well, I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm standing next to it because I'm just in it's still uh, aura, the glow. But, man, uh, it's, you know, I tell people, um, you know, I, I have four kids and a wife. Hold, lifting that cup for the Columbus crew was my sixth favorite thing in life. Like, and that's maybe – that's an honest story. And I played in World Cups. I played in the Olympics. But there was a different um, – you know, of course, and those we didn't win championships, so there was a different feel there. Uh, but man, there's never been a feel like that just for the aura around the stadium, even the aura that year around um, uh, at MLS Cup, even though it wasn't here in Columbus. Um, so imagine, imagine if we can host this cup in Columbus. In, I mean, I mean, wh what more could, could uh, we want as a community? It was so big for the community back in the day uh, in Columbus, and we didn't uh, get to really lift it and host it here. So the opportunity to do that and the amount of love that I got from Columbus for, from doing that, and even before that even happened, there was a lot of love. And that's why, you know, um, you know I'm from San Diego, and a lot of people ask me, hey, why do you live in Columbus? And I said, man, because people love me there, man. Uh, I feel like Norm from Cheers. Um, every time I go, hey, what's up, Frankie? Hey. You know, I can go anywhere. And so who wouldn't love that? And the people are cool. Um, the fans gave me so much love over those, you know, uh, nine years that I was there. Um, and even in the community when I went there, wherever I went, there was always so much love. And I was going, man, how could you want to leave that? And this is what these players already feel because they already do so much in the community that they can, you know, okay, of course there's COVID going on, but these guys before this was going on, were doing everything uh, they could, especially, you know, the captain himself, John Menso. So imagine um, what they can do uh, if we have the cup again and they get to feel that community love. They already feel it, but man, um, there's, there's a certain amount of respect that I think, that the community has here, especially in Columbus, when you win a championship, you know, just because, you know, Ohio State wins, you know, all, all the time. And so they wanted their win their winners here. And um, to be able to win another championship, even though one is, you know, a, a feat in itself, um, to be able to win two um, in a community. And now they start recognizing, whoa, dang, dude, they're, you know, they're starting, you start earning more and more respect. And not like soccer hasn't had respect because we've been here now 25 years uh, and we've been in this community for 25 years. And uh, thanks, you know, to, to actually the community themselves and save the crew movement um, and Dr. Pete Edwards, a local guy. And, you know, obviously um, the Haslam's, you know, that they are, you know, Ohio. So, um, so we, we've been blessed to have everything happen that's happened and, um, I'm hoping for those guys and those players that they get to get blessed with this and know the feeling because there's literally no other feeling. Like I said before, uh, I had my four four kids and, and my wife, and those are my best, my top five. Number six is this one, and um, seven, the seven through 15 would be, have to be uh, debated, but this is definitely the sixth and um, uh, uh, for me. So I, I, I just, I would love for these guys to just to feel how I felt and feel that energy again because i keep i kind of say it over and over again i've done a couple of interviews but it's just it's actually co coming from the heart um players ex-players live vicariously through after they're done either through a, 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 a nation that they like a, a a player that they like or a club that they like um so i'm living vicariously right now through through the crew um in, in any moment i get and to see them get to this moment um, and to have my kids be able to witness this moment. They're all old enough now to they're be, they, they're, they'd be able to at least see it on TV, whether they're home or whatever, um, that there's generations now. Um, the one, two of my generations saw me uh, win the 08 cup. Now I'm gonna have four that could have possibly see another um, cup here in Columbus raised. So there's generations now that are here in Columbus that this is impacting. Um, so it, it's pretty it's pretty cool to, to see that. And I'd want nothing more 
um, you know, and uh, there's a lot of pressure, believe me, that I'm proud, you know, when you hear about this, if you, I hope they don't watch it because it's, it's, you know, it, it, there's pressure, man, there really is, but it's a beautiful pressure and the pressure is all worth it if you can win one of these things. And um, gosh, uh, I would hope just for my kids just to witness something like that and for Columbus as a community to, to witness that, especially, you know, having saved their own team and saved, um, which is, uh, you know, I'm sure going to be a 30 for 30 story one day um, uh, uh, about this because this, that was a historic moment and the community saved the team. And then two beautiful owners came together um, and and helped save it. And here we are today hosting um, potentially a, another cup. And th this team hosted is hosted MLS Cup three times. This will be the third. The first time was in 2001. The crew weren't in it. Then, it, you know, you go back only a few years ago and crew were hosting against Portland, which, which came up border one. But it's totally different circumstances now. For, for between you go back a few years ago and you go, come back now, there was no Save the Crew moving back then. Now it, it, it saved the crew. It saved the club from, from leaving. How, how important do you think this is, not to the club, not to, you know, the players and the coaches, but to the community? That, that, that they helped save this team and this team is one win away from winning the cup? I mean, it'd be, I mean, it'd be more than the world to all of them, which it's so ironic it'd be, uh, um, because a lot of them are not going to be able to be at the game, you know? Um, so, and, but that's just 2020. So it's going to be the craziest year ever, um, as you know, because I wish all those people would get to witness this again, because this has been, a historic team. They've done unbelievable um, this whole year, and a lot of the year that you know, as, as fans, we didn't we didn't get to watch it. But that's just been that's just been this year. It's been you know you know how it is. But uh, but I uh, in my heart, I want them to be here and be able to host that cup with the team. But you know what I know is I know all their hearts and their spirits, and they're in whether they're watching it on TV or or not. Um, you know, they're, 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 they'll be there with us and they'll be there with this team. Um, you know, of course you just, you need some soccer gods to be with you as well. So I'm going to be praying to them tonight and tomorrow. And, you know, I've been doing that for a while. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's, you know, that's how championships are. So um, hopefully uh, we can get there. I forgot the question because I talked so much, but <laughs> you asked it was about the community and the say the crew what it, what it would mean for them to win the cup you answered it beautifully as always when it comes to this game if you had to break down one specific area where this game could be won or lost for columbus where would it be um well uh, defensively i mean i think that's you know um, and, and that's in any final i don't mean that just with our team that's what uh, what it is um um, and I guess my second answer would be set pieces because um, those are, um, you know, Seattle's very dangerous on those. And those are always dangerous at any given moment in any, in any game, um, you know, especially corners. And But, you know, defense wins championships, you know, um, and that's what they say. And and it, that means not just the back four. I don't mean, that means the whole team being organized defensively, knowing what they're doing, because both teams are going to have the chances. They're both offensively unbelievable. So, but everyone has to be on the same page defensively for, you know, for those 90 minutes or whatever it is, or in 20 minutes or, uh, or whatever it is. But um, so I'm, I'm, I always, you know, I'm a defender. So I'm always going to say defense first, but, and I mean that starting from the forwards. So, um, and, and both teams and both teams, because I feel, you know, we're just as, if not more potent, um, than them, uh, you know, up top. I mean, both teams are un un have an unbelievable offense. Um, you know, both teams have solid, solid center backs, great right back. I mean, that, it, it's there's a matchup that's very even around the whole field. So that's why I say um, the home field actually, even though it hasn't been a huge advantage, I guess, for because there's no didn't been enough fans. It's been an advantage to, to this team in Columbus. They, you know, they've lost one game here all year, so they feel comfortable here. Um, and I know they feel comfortable um, with the fans here as well, if there was ever, you know, a, a time where they can all be here again. So, um, but they feel comfortable on this field. It's one of the best fields in the league. The grounds crew does an unbelievable job here with the crew. 
like literally. I mean, you ask any player in the league, they're they're saying this brand. You know, that, that's one of the best fields in the league. Every year, day, year in and year out. So what what a field to have a final on a perfect field, no excuses, no mistakes. Let's go play the game and let's get ready to battle. Why you mentioned it just now about home field and how there's no fan or there's going to be 1,500 fans at Moffray Stadium on Saturday. You know, really the the fans you believe as 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 fans and as players. We hear all the time that, you know, the fans make the difference. What has it been about playing at Moffrey this year where the crew have 12 wins and zero and, and one loss on this, on this pitch that makes it so pivotal? And could it swing this match on Saturday either way? Um, well, I mean, I just think they, they feel the aura of the fans regardless. They know how much love they have in the community and they know the fans are watching, whether they, they see them or not. They feel them, um, and so and you know they've been feeling them all this whole year, and you can see in the way they play here. I um, mean, it's it's become like you know a, a, what you call a fortress, uh, right? It's a, it's a fortress here, and that's what you want um, uh, for any team in, in any sport. If you're going to have your home field be that much of an advantage for you, um, man, that and then to be able to host that advantage once you get to the, to the cup. I mean, that, this is, uh, you don't want anything more than that. So they feel the community, they feel um, um, everything because uh, these players all have been in the community before this. They do so much work. I mean, I've never seen a team do so much work in the community before uh, of what these guys do, you know, especially uh, led by captain, the captain himself, Jonathan Mensa. But dude, they love this community more than ever. They get back to this community more than ever. And so they feel the community. And so there's, there's your 12th man right there. You mentioned Jonathan Mensa being the captain. You were the captain of the 08 team that won the cup. If you had a chance to talk to him, what would be one thing that you would say to him about being a captain in, in MLS cup? Well, I mean, I, I would say just do what he's been doing because he's been doing a heck of a job. I mean, you're, you're just every, every captain, every player, they have their different styles. So you can't say, Oh, I got to do everyone. You know, he might be more relaxed. He might be more this. He might be, Everyone has their own side. I would say nothing more. Keep on doing what you're doing. You've been doing a great job, not only as a captain, but as a leader in this community. Um, and we love you, and we can't ask much more. For this to be the last full season in Mafre Stadium, Charter Club number one for MLS in the in MLS Cup for the 25th year of Major League Soccer, for crew to win this game, they have to do what? Um, well, that's a good question. <laughs> they have because when you win a championship, you have to do everything right. Because that was going to be my first. You have to do everything right. I mean, yeah. I, I, we, we we mentioned it before. I wish I could. Do you want one answer? They have to win. That's that's what they have to do. So uh, uh, they have to <laughs> obviously, win. yes. But uh, man, the one thing, man, there's 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 not one thing that goes into any final game nothing um i would say god concentration or i would say heart that probably heart would be my first one concentration would be my second one you go in with your heart and you give everything you have and you know when you leave that field that you've given everything you have win or lose you've already won but just going if you play with all your heart you've already won Last question for you, as somebody that has adopted Columbus as, as his hometown, being from a guy from, from, from California, the players will have nerves, I'm sure. The coaches will have nerves, I'm sure. How will you be on Saturday night when the, cl when the crew take on the Sounders? I'm going to be pretty amped. I'm pretty excited about this game, man. I really am. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for these guys to go and – there's, um, there's a great aura going on like around. Like I said, I keep mentioning that word, but that, I mean, there's, uh, you know, there's, I feel a little glow. So, um, you know, um, but, you know, the game hasn't been played yet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be amped. And second, second, you know, you get the, I'm going to get the butterflies again. And what I told you before, we live vicariously through these guys. So I know exactly how they feel before that kickoff is going on. And, but here's the thing, everyone feels something different. 
I was normally pumped up like, I, and some guys are as mellow and calm. So everyone has their different little pregame things that they do. Um, I'm, I feel like a player again, like I said, uh, uh, at least I guarantee for those first 10 minutes, but then I'm going to be a little bit nervous. Frankie, thanks a lot and enjoy watching the, uh, watching the match on Saturday night. Thank you. Sean, thank